on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Oh, you seem to finally be awake. <laughs> what the? Who the hell are you? Uh, well, I am your doctor, of course. But, uh, doctor? That's what a human's care. Uh, wait. As, yes, Izuku Godzilla pretty much just runs up to the nearest mirror and sees, I'm human? No. Nah. Uh-uh. No. This, this can't be happening. This, is this real? Is this really me? Uh, I... Where are my scales? Where's my tail? Where's my... Spines? They're gone! Uh, Mr. Medoya, if you were referring to... Your quirk, I... Uh, I... Sorry, but you do not... Have one. Uh, what... Are you talking about? What? What's a quirk? As Izuku is pretty much getting pissed, more and more so, as he's about to use his atomic blast upon the do poor doctor just doing his job. This is when Inko shows up, sees his uh, Izuku who just runs up and hugs him, saying, "Mom, wait, I mean, who are you? Uh, I." What are you talking about? You just called me mom, but then you backpedal? Why? Well, I, uh... It seems as though he's had some... Hmm... Interesting ramifications due to his tumble. What? Yeah. You see, when you and your mother were going to the Godzilla Museum... Or get the exhibit. You fell down a ravine. What? Yes, you see, it is actually deemed the last resting place of Godzilla. You know, the king of the kaiju. Uh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I did die. What? Uh, nothing, nothing. So what you're saying is I fell, and, uh, hmm, come on, I'm trying to remember. As now there's a flashback to when Izuku was pretty much good, getting a little too close for comfort, and... Yeah, he falls down the Great Ravine in which Godzilla was supposed to be dead. One thing is, he found the corpse of Godzilla. What he didn't expect was pretty much... Wait, what's going on here? The room started glowing as if it itself was alive. Him getting closer and closer as it grows brighter until he actually does stone pawn Godzilla's corpse. At least, what was supposed to be his corpse. Izuku indirectly making contact with it via blood and... Godzilla and Izuku's consciousness becomes one. Only thing is... Yeah, Godzilla was technically dead, sleeping, for countless years. Enough for quirks to be a thing, as well as, hell, you will know kaijus exist, and you just don't know where the hell they are. Oh. Oh dear, I, oh, that, okay, now I remember. Hmm. So it's pretty much me and this kid are fighting for control over this body. 
Why, well, uh, that was a nice chat with this young man, now won't I? Izuku was just looking, yeah. Mom, we don't mind, uh, I, I'll, I'm going to take a little rest. Are you sure? Y yeah, I think that would be best for me, you know? Okay. As long as you're sure you're alright. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, Mom. Is yes, Godzilla Izuku just goes into this meditative state in which, yes, it's this empty black void in which only those two can huh, be seen. You're Godzilla, and you are Izuku Midoriya. Have you explained yourself? Uh, I just got too close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that. I just want to know why. Because you were humanity's hero against the other kaiju. Yeah. Humans. I was a fool for trusting them. What do you mean? A human construct is what killed me. What? Yes. Your kind developed something just to kill me. A mechanized version of myself. But we were told it was one of your, your kind. A kaiju that killed you. No, no, that's, that's not possible. But, uh, perhaps, yes, I can see only the survivors truly get to tell the story. But yeah, it talks about how you single-handedly took on each and every one of the kaijus and killed them all. What? No, no. That, that's not what happened. I helped us get home. Uh, at least I helped them. <sighs> oh, man. How long has it been? So much, so much time has passed, but, what's the, wait, he, uh, the doctor, he said something about quirk, what, what is that? Oh, Izuku gave his explanation, in which, this is a teenage Izuku, so, hmm? oh, okay, so, interesting. If anything, I can obviously say without doubt, you humans have changed quite a bit. Is that a good thing? Well, well I can tell. <laughs> you actually have uh, the capabilities to take on one of us. At least, some of you seem to have disabilities. Very impressive. Thank you, but you were quirkless, correct? Yes. Hmm. All right. So now you have power. Technically, uh, me. Really? Oh yes, I was about to barbecue the doctor. For annoying me. I would rather you not do that. Oh. <clears throat> That's. <laughs> Either way. 
From what I can tell, this world is a lot more different than the one I came from. The one that I left behind. I don't know how, I don't know why, but we seem to be bonded together. I would like to have a partnership, as it would be. 50-50. Okay. Okay, okay, I guess since it's your body, you can have mo Wait, what? Yeah, I'm fine with that. You're alright with sharing uh, your entire being with someone else? Yeah. I mean, it's not like you can actually hurt me. Or you have any malice or ill will plan, right? No. No, of course not. So yeah, I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> You're a lot different from humans I've seen in my years. So trusting. I would do my best to be worthy of it. So, partners? Right. As Izuku shakes Godzilla's hand, well, technically his claw, so they become equal partners in this case. And so, upon waking up, they're just trying to get a feel for their new surroundings. Izuku already feels stronger as Godzilla feels like he's been nerfed. Their consciousness is on both one, but their minds are still somewhat separate. Each can give each other their output or input. Godzilla has permitted Izuku to at least have a sample of his power. Just not enough to level an entire city. <laughs> Maybe if he gets older and more control over it. So right now, Izuku, as far as Godzilla is permitting, has super strength, speed, endurance, as well as being able to summon scale the armor. The whole atomic beam thing... He does have, but it's nowhere near the level of Godzilla can actually use it. Let's say it can melt through reinforced steel walls easy. But its true potential is pretty much, oh fuck, we're all gonna die. Yezuku knows this. And Godzilla knows, like, okay, so... Just in case I have an idea, you'll listen to my opinion. And uh, you're okay with me taking control every now and again? Yes. Wow, this kid is very trusting in me. I mean, I could just go on a rampage. He probably will be alright with it. Seriously? Of course. But if anything, before I try to actually use your power, I should at least get to more accustomed to it as well as you. Izuku gained the whole backstory and yada yada yada, as well as his powers. And he's like, wait. So, a world of kaiju. Yes. The other kaiju wanted to go home. We just didn't know how. It took a lot of doing. But finally, there was a way for us to go back. I decided to stay and fend off the Mecha Godzilla. I feel kind of insulted. As then. He hears stomping. He's, oh my god, is there another kaiju? Him seeing... Uh, uh, who the hell is that? 
as he sees the hero Gojiro, as he's like, oh, that's the hero Gojiro, oh, 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 wait, I feel malice. What the hell is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be me? Is this some kind of sick joke? Like, no, no, not at all. It's, it, that's just how his quirk is. Quirk. That does not excuse why he looks like a weaker ass version of me. He looks like a cartoon version of me. That is an insult to me. I, I, wait, why am I getting so worked up? Because it's you being portrayed as someone without your uh, knowledge and permission. Yeah, right, exactly. It's almost like it's, it's not as bad as the Mega Godzilla weapon that was made to take us out. But it, but it is an insult. Uh, can he at least, so like, what's his abilities? You don't want to know. Izuku and Godzilla pretty much already went back and forth in Izuku's head to a point where people were starting to stare, considering, yeah, both of them pretty much pining for control, two sides arguing. It's going to get loud. He goes, she's worried, uh, okay, maybe he got bumped on the head or something. Is you know, Tommy Beam starts to radiate hers like okay let's not do that in the car he's like apologizing he goes okay at the very least <sighs> I'm actually tired let's, let's retire for the moment them approaching the apartment and going to sleep the next day is when Izuku actually starts training and learns about his abilities, capabilities. First thing he does is start to crush everything within Degaba Beach. And uh, the atomic breath, it comes in handy when it comes to melting. A lot of steel, plastic, it's nothing but puddles of nothingness and destruction. Izuku about to do the roar, but he's like, don't you dare. Uh, why not? It's inappropriate, and you have not earned that right. Seriously? Yes. I have to earn the right to roar like you? Yes. Ugh. It's kind of not fair. Hey, I didn't ask to die. Uh, right. That's that, that, that's fair. Hmm. As yes, this is the whole ten months of training for Izuku. When it comes to the back and forth to school and everything, everyone notices a change in him. People. People still think he's quirkless until he, he actually shows, like, yeah, I do have a quirk. That's a certificate and everything. And he has it laminated. Everyone's like, okay, that's a... Okay, so he, mocking you is not a good idea. Bakuyo is still on the fence. For one, he's like, seriously, you're just because you have a quirk now does not mean you were top dog. Until he actually does try something. Izuku doesn't want to fight. Because it was, uh, I don't want to end up killing him. So the armor up with those scales. And Bakugo goes hands blazing and blowing them up. Only thing is, it doesn't work. At all. I mean it. Nothing. If anything, is, are you done? No, Bakugo breaks his arm. And fractures the other one over the overexertion of his quirk. He gets sent to the hospital. Rizki wonders what happened. And Bongo, though his pride's on the line, he's, he knows that line would just make it worse. So he just tells him, I was trying to blow up Izuku, 
but it didn't work. This is what he's like. Did he actually just what? He actually he said my name. Well, of course, it's, it is your name, isn't it? No, no, it is. It's just he usually calls me Deku. Deku. What, what does that mean? Uh, it was meant as an insult, pretty much him saying useless, or he's calling me that since I was quirkless. You want to be friends with him, right? Well, definitely we are friends. He's just being very distant. Nope. 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 That is not a friend. Yeah, what you're describing uh, sounds familiar. I think uh, I heard some kids saying it back in my day. It was a. Oh, yeah. Simp. Uh, what? Oh, yes, you were sounding like a simp for Bakugo Kotsky. I bet if you get a girlfriend, he he is a uh, banger. You would be just like, oh, um, I forgive you and whatnot. And still, seriously, you can't be friends with everyone. And he definitely does not deserve your friendship. All right. Uh, you are you? Sh of course, I'm sure. <sighs> Seriously, when me and King Kong first met, we hated each other. I mean, seriously, he kept calling himself a king. I kept calling myself a god. We just talked about who should actually be the boss around there. We fought so many times. Heck, he's had an axe made. I can absorb my, my atomic beam, and oh, it looked awesome. If anything, that was my only best, really amazing list advantage I had against him. I had long range. That was the best thing for me. Because once he got his hands on me, it was, it was a little more difficult to attack, given my arms and whatnot. But, ooh, with well that axe, he was able to absorb as well as slash me. Oh, I think one time he almost cut off my head. Ooh, that was a real pain to deal with. Huh, I wonder if he took the axe with him. If he didn't, I would like to see it again for old time's sake. And you're, you turned out to be friends? Oh, yeah. Friends fight all the time. If anything, they're still cool with each other. I mean, think of it like this. You can make jokes on each other and pretty much bust each other's balls, but still be the best of friends. Huh. So me and Kacha can still know know that there's a difference. If what you told me about him telling you to take a gosh dang swan dive <sighs> No 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 no. No, that that is not a friend. That is a bully. That is a jerk, someone you do not need to associate yourself with at all. Ugh. <sighs> If anything, if he changes his attitude a bit, changes his perspective on others, maybe you can at least go back to a first name basis. But as far as friends, that is impossible right now. <sighs> Though, yes, him calling you by your actual name is a step in the right direction. But still. <sighs> wow. Wow. You seem very passionate about this. Mm -hmm. Yes. You could say that. I have been wronged by both kaiju and humanity. But still. Huh. Thank you for that insight. You're most welcome. You sick of it, Daria. 
So, what do you want to do now? Oh, uh, well, at the very least, we can continue our training until this UA entrance exam, if you wish. Sure. But, if anything, uh, how much power am I going to be able to use? Hmm. You don't want to just cause a natural disaster, so... At least enough to... Hmm. Destroy a building. I'll cap you off with that. How big is the building? Empire State Building. That'll work. <laughs> when it comes to the whole entrance exam, the theoretical Izuku is hella smart. So... If anything, let's say say he gets a B, okay? Let's, let's make him a super genius. In terms of the practical, he <laughs> he has to hold back even more, considering that he punched a one pointer right into a two pointer, and it still it kept going until it started to get so many other robots. At once, it started to topple buildings. So, we was like, okay, let's dial it back a little bit. Now, because the whole Zero Pointer, yeah, he does save Oraka. Only thing is, he lets out the atomic breath, and it is stanky. In a good way. It melts down to nothing but a puddle of molten metal. I'm pressing Everybody, oh my, he's looking at this like I thought he was quirkless. Hmm, interesting. Perhaps he was a late bloomer. Unless, as then as I was just chimed in, huh? Seriously, if anything, this kid has a lot of control and. Seems to be very adapted to using this query of his. <laughs> you would have suspected that he's been quirkless most of his life. Almost like he's possibly being trained or he lied about having been diagnosed quirkless. Hmm. But he would have a reason to lie. In that case, then who trained him? All my see, just seeing the sheer number of points, then hearing Izel's words got him. Um, don't tell me. He should be dead. That, that, should, that should not be possible. Because this boy is getting given a quirk by all you know, for one. I'm going to need to make a more detailed analysis. As Izuku, at the end of the whole test, he feels great about himself. I mean, he saved someone. He got a hell of a ton of hero points and from saving other people. And, yeah, the villain points weren't too shabby either. One thing is, yeah, he still didn't know about the hero points. <laughs> So when he does actually learn about them, that he already sees it back ago, he feels good about himself. He feels like celebrating. Inko, she's proud of her boy, though she is terrified at the fact that his quirk is hella dangerous. Especially when you start using claws. It's like, oh, whoa, that's a, that is something else. But now, let us get to the first day of UA. Everyone's looking at Izuku, seeing how... You, yeah, he's top spot, but he blew past All Might's record. And Bakugo is rightfully upset, but he doesn't call him Deku. Really, he doesn't really acknowledge him per se. He just stays there quiet. And Izuku trained with, yeah, Godzilla. He actually has had a huge ass confidence boost to match with his newly acquired power. When it comes to the quirk apprehension test, 
Yeah, Isuku does awesome. He's a, let's say first place here. But this is what he stopped by as our. We need to talk. As then, yes. Izuku's looking. You're a racer head. And you're quirkless. <laughs> and yes, this is pretty much Izuku being interrogated by All Might, as well as Principal Nezu and all the other teachers. Especially as I was like, okay, I've been watching you this whole time and you did outstanding. Your quirk was incredible. Only thing is, you don't have one. Uh, what? Oh, don't you play down with me, son. You don't have a quirk. But you were still able to... To accomplish such amazing feats. Why? How? I, I, uh, I can't tell you. Really? You can't tell me. Alright. Fine. You don't have to. But we're going to keep our eyes on you. Alright. Alright. All oh Might. Yeah. Zuku, he's scared, but he's also fanboying out. What am I mean by this? He asks everyone for their autograph. He skips All Might because he already has it. Which does hurt All Might's probably until he remembers he already gave Zuku his autograph. Midnight, she is actually flattered. As I was like, wow. He's a nerdy fanboy. If anyone thought he was a spy or a traitor, they need to get a life. Now, to the heroes versus villains. Bakugo has been training his ass off. Just so he can actually feel like he's top dog back when he and Izuku went to the same middle school. Only thing is, Izuku knowing Bakugo's fighting style and knowing that, yeah, Bakugo's quirk is very powerful and whatnot. He strategizes with Ochako. He knows that Bakugo's going to, seriously, he's going to go after him, duh. So, what does he do? He uses himself as bait, pretty much being armored up to the teeth. So, Bago shows up. He completely ignores Oraka and goes straight in for the kill when it comes to Izuku, blasting him over and over and over again with his more powerful explosions. When he sees that it does nothing, he pulls up him and All Might tries to stop, but it is too late as Izuku is engulfed by the explosion. Or the thing is, he walks out of it like a motherfucking G and backhands Bakugo unconscious. Now, he goes to help Oraka. She's laughing her ass off at Ia. Ia's pride is a little bit hurt, but he does allow. You know. Yeah, you're not getting this bomb for me. Izuku just say, There, I win. Well, we win. Uh, no! Yes. Yes, yes. As for who's the MVP, Izuku. Is considered the MVP, but he has to see. What about Ida? I mean, yes, it was, the way he was acting was cringy, but man, he performed well too as acting villain. He was able to keep Oraka from getting to the bomb until I actually got there because someone blew their cover. I'm sorry. Either way, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I see your reasoning. It actually makes a fair amount of sense. Now that I really think about it. Thank you. So, yeah, she's 
splits the spot. When it comes to the USJ, eh, fuck it, why not? 40 minute videos, 40 minute videos. It is utter nonsensical bullshitification to the nonsensitive degree. You can use that word if you want. You just gotta be able to pronounce it yourself. When it comes to Izuku actually going toe to toe with all the villains, they can't hurt him. At all. Shiroi just has to bring in the no Nomu ahead of time just to deal with Izuku and one shot him. The only thing is, it goes for Azawa. And as Azawa gets clapped, Izuku gets pissed. More and more so to the point his teeth turn to fangs. His eyes come slanted. His arms become more reptilian. He even grows a damn tail as he charges Nomu full force and goes in for the kill. He blows a hole through the Nomu's chest. Shigaraki is shocked at this, the fact that the how did he do that? The only thing is the Nomu regenerates. And this is a bare knuckle brawl between both of them. The only thing is, Izuku is healing slightly slower than Nomu, and Nomu is taking more damage than Izuku is. Until, you know what? I'm going to finish this off with one more good punch as he goes straight for a cut. And at the end, Nomu's head is flying as it just plops down. A fountain of blood is seen as Izuku stands triumphantly. Everyone is both scared, amazed. They don't know what to really say. I mean, yes, he won, but what the hell is with that brutality? Shiraki doesn't know what to do. He is shocked that someone was able to beat the Nomu. No, kill the Nomu. The all my killing weapon, it is gone, as far as he knows. Kodagiri is like, okay, yes, we gotta get out of here, but Izuku, he's... <laughs> his eyes start going red instead of green. As then he just narrowly scopes out Shigaraki. He's huffing and puffing. Steam is starting to exit out of his mouth. He's digging his claws into the ground. His eyes are flashing red as he pounces straight towards Shigaraki. Kurohiri being able to stop it just in time for it. Izuku just slash himself instead of Shigaraki. Everyone is seeing how Izuku has pretty much gone berserk in this case. As Kurogiri is trying to get him and Shigaraki out of there. One thing is, Izuku is not giving them any real chances to breathe. He's like, Man, if, I, if he gets any one of us, we're screwed. Is Kodagiri's thinking. As Shiraki, he's pretty much saying, cut off his arm or something. Find some way to kill this kid. I'm too busy focusing on keeping you alive to do anything. And this is about the time when All my shows up with the old I am here pissed off look. As then, Izuku is distracted, giving Shiraki and Kodagiri enough time to escape. But then Izuku sets his sights on All Might. As then he crouches down, takes his claws, and charges him. All Might is a young Midoriya, calm down! As he is dodging each and every one of Izuku's slashes. Until he gets swept up by Izuku's tail and gets body slammed. All Might, he is trying to pry Izuku's foot off of him, but Izuku's strength is just growing constantly. He doesn't know what the hell ha is happening. All he knows is that this student is not acting within his right state of mind. As everyone is yelling, saying, please calm down. No, the fight is over. The villains have been defeated. As in, Izuku hears something. A voice. 
it's Martha. He says this. He whispers it. Everyone wondering who the hell is that? As Izuku falls unconscious. <laughs>